Hello and welcome to Kia e Nero Diaries. It's the 3rd of September and uh, I've done something I don't do very often which is charge the car up to 100%. Uh, the reason for that is tomorrow we are driving down to the Dordogne. Um, been invited to a tour of a winery um, which sounds rather interesting. Um, going to take a picnic with us and it's about a 360 kilometer round trip I think. It's uh, I'm not sure on that. Um, I'll have to check the sat nav um, but um, the first bit of the journey is going to be on the dual carriageway route, uh, route national number 10 which we are used to taking. It's the road down to Angoulême so that's a well-trodden path and then south of there we get on some smaller roads and it gets more interesting. Some of that area we've been to before but it's going to be Quite interesting to explore that so we're going to be doing driving along uh, I guess at around sort of 110 120 kilometers an hour um, so sort of 70 75 miles an hour um, on the dual carriageway and then um, possibly uh, well I don't know I mean it's, it's going to be slower anyways it's, it's about a it's about a two and a half hour journey according to charge map when I uh, when I put that uh, that in, I, I just checked to see what uh, charging stations are around um, for the Dordogne. But actually, we shouldn't need to charge. Um, it should be well within the range of the car. So anyway, let's uh, have a look, see what uh, the guessometer, I, I, I'm led to believe it's called the GOM, as uh, some of the better YouTubers uh, call it. Let's see what, what it's saying about our range. So just giving the car a bit of a clean uh, inside, uh, might do the outside, it's not too bad actually, it's beautiful warm weather this week um, and let's power up to see what range it says we've got. Okay, so 537 kilometres range, so that's, uh, what's that in old money, I don't know, about 320 miles I guess. Um, and yeah, there we are, 100%. So anyway, uh, that's tomorrow. Uh, we're not going to leave fantastically early, uh, probably about 9, 9.30, get down there for lunch and say have a tour of this winery, which should be, and I guess there'll be a bit of tasting as well. Okay, so here we are on our way down to the Dordogne and on the N10, half an hour into our trip we are behind a, a, a transporter load of Volkswagen ID3s and I did read in the press that this was the first uh, batch that are going to be delivered into France we're going to be coming this week so there we go how many is that uh, four five six seven seven brand spanking new electric cars We're uh, in the Dordogne now, the department of the Dordogne. Uh, Mrs. E. Nero driving there. Hello. Uh. <laughs> this is a crazy trip because it's only 194 kilometres, but it takes forever, so it's um, quick down to Angoulême and then these little roads uh, there's no traffic the first 30 40 kilometers just going through vineyards because you're fairly close to Bordeaux there um, yeah the Gironde Valley and we've done 154 kilometers we've still got a range of kilometers 52 minutes to go so go through quite a lot of forest at the moment um, uh, we've averaged so far 13.3 kilowatt hours per hundred kilometers put that up in miles uh, per kilowatt hour you can see that on the screen I guess 
Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to a vineyard uh, not far from Bergerac. And it's owned by somebody who works in the same building as Boris Johnson, and I'm not going to say any more than that. Um, anyway, so be about another hour, just under, before we get there. So, yeah, we'll probably have about um, 80 or 90 kilometres left when we get back home. So, uh, really lovely day. We've hit 34 degrees today, 34 centigrade. It's uh, half past seven in the evening, it's still 30. Into the beautiful Dordogne, and uh, yeah, it's just a pain to get to. That's the trouble. So that was yesterday, that was our trip down to the, the Dordogne, uh, it was really quite nice. We tasted some interesting wines, um, uh, met some people and uh, we saw the uh, VW ID3s uh, on the transporter. They were heading in the direction of Bordeaux so I would imagine that it's the bigger French cities that are going to get those cars first but uh, from the electric vehicle press that I follow. We know they've arrived this week, uh, over the last week in Norway, Sweden, uh, the UK, and now, say yesterday, we saw them. Uh, we're just, just lucky to see them on the transporter when we were beginning our, our journey. Um, so the statistics from yesterday, we started 100% battery charge, which was an indicated range of 537 kilometers. I'll, I'll put all the miles up there somewhere um, and uh, I thought well, I was a bit optimistic but uh, actually the journey itself we did a lot more kilometers than I thought I thought it'd be about 360 uh, we made a few uh, wrong took a few wrong turns and 
came back a different way to the way we went and it ended up being 426 kilometers so we did 426 kilometers we uh, got home with a range on the gasometer indicating 83 kilometers left and 16 percent range so that would indicate <clears throat> A, um, a range of 509 uh, kilometres um, for that uh, journey yesterday. And I say it was a mixture of uh, initially uh, on the way down to the Dordogne, it's about 60 kilometres of um, pretty fast dual carriageway. Um, and then it's a mixture of sort of single track, uh, uh, you know, sort of route nationale and then very, very small. I mean, the Dordogne is a crazy place. You've got sort of uh, one or two roads going, well, there's one main road going east-west through the Dordogne Valley, and then, uh, which gets really busy. And you keep having to stop at lots of little towns. Uh, and then you get off the beaten track and there's just no traffic at all, but the roads are really slow. You're talking 60 to 70 kilometers if, an hour if you're lucky. Um, saying it's beautiful country it, it's not a problem but we ended up spending according to the computer we were seven hours and 29 minutes on the road for 426 kilometers so work that one out I mean the sat nav took us it was quite funny actually we we took a wrong turn in a place called Le Bourne and um, took us down this little road we, we it thought to get us round some traffic and we ended up um, down this little kind of unmade road um, that was heading to a drainage ditch underneath um, un un underneath a, a main dual carriageway. Um, so we had to, it's so funny, <laughs> we, we had to back up out of there and, and try to find our way back onto the main road. So we kind of wasted a fair bit of time, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, um, the, uh, the computer said 12.9, uh, uh, you know, for 12.9 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers was what we averaged. Uh, over the whole day um, and uh, so that's not bad and it shows that uh, you know the summer range of this car is sort of uh, on mixed roads uh, you know quite happily 500 kilometers so what's that about 300 miles I suppose um, anyway I uh, hope you've enjoyed seeing our little trip down to the Dordogne yesterday and um, Thank you for watching. Uh, in a couple of weeks' time, well, 10 days' time, we're off on a trip down to the Languedoc region in the southwest. So that's going to be about 2,000 kilometres for the week, I would think. So I'm going to be making some videos down there. Okay, see you. Bye.